Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Richie Valentine here and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Denzin electric hot pot and I got the one with the steamer rack. I just thought about an electric hot pot, how it can be handy, whether, whether you're cooking really quickly for yourself uh, in a dorm room, a hotel room, or camping somewhere. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. I personally would like to use it for camping. I have this Blue Eddy AC180 that I take with me um, out when I'm camping. So I want to see how practical it would be cooking with one of these um, electric hot pots. So along with the unboxing today, we're also going to cook kimchi stew. And we'll see how effective it is in um, getting that stew going. It is fall. It is cold. So kimchi stew sounds like the thing to make. So a few of the ingredients we're going to be using is tofu. I'm not going to use pork in this recipe. I'm just going to keep it simple and stick to the tofu. We have sesame seed oil, um, Korean pepper flakes. I have some spring water, some kimchi from Costco. This is my favorite brand. I also have um, minced garlic that's fresh. This isn't garlic, it's just garlic that's been minced and put in this container. And I'm also going to be using this wooden spoon so that I don't disturb or damage the nonstick coating on the hot pot. All right, let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. And this two liter pot is their newest pot. I believe the original is about 1.5 liters. Okay, let's see what we got in here. <clears throat> so we have the power cord. We have some instructions. Um, this is the one I got with the steamer rack on top. Non-stick spatula. Feels kind of rubbery on the tip here. We have the Denzin pot itself. Um, yeah, the non-stick coating looks good straight out of the box. On the handle is going to be your power switch. If you go down, I believe that's 200 watts. If you go up with the double etch lines, that's going to be 600 watts. So if you want to boil something really quickly, you would go on that setting. Otherwise, you would go to that single slash line for a simmer. And if you want off, you just push it to the middle. And up next, we have the steamer rack and the, the glass top. So this is where you would put your vegetables or maybe even dumplings if you wanted to steam something. So here's the pot. Let's say you're cooking instant noodles. Um, you would pour your water in here, put the lid on, and or if you're cooking rice, for example, and if you need to pour out some of the extra water, there are these three holes here. So you would just tip the whole pot and then water would, um, excess water would just drip out of here. So that's pretty cool. This is what it looks like with just the lid and the pot itself. It's a good little size, honestly. I thought two liters was gonna be a bit bigger than I thought. This is a nice size. So if I wanted to steam some veggies, I would throw some water in there, steamer rack, veggies on top, put this on, hit it to a boil, and then simmer it down, let the veggies steam for a bit. So this is the power cord to the steamer. It doesn't look like it's super long. It's maybe, if I were to guess, maybe three feet long. That's gonna be okay, but you're gonna be needing to be close to an outlet. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So it just inserts right in here like so. <clears throat> And then down below is my uh, Blue Eddy AC 180. I'm just going to turn on the power. And it's currently at 100% battery right now. And so we're going to be using the AC outlet. So I'm going to turn this on. And I love this little battery. I want to do a review on it. But I took it out on my last camping trip and it performed tremendously. Even after camping, I kept it in my car for a week and it ran for a week running my refrigerator without needing to, to be recharged. So that was awesome. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try to bring this closer. 
get it plugged in. And this is rated to go up to <clears throat> 1800 watts, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, remember our pot is in the off position. So I'm going to take the steamer rack off, put this on, 710 and 12, and we're at 100% so. Okay guys, let's go ahead and prepare the tofu. I'm going to use about half of this. There we go, I'm going to set that aside. All right, let's cut up the tofu. Okay, the pot is going and it's drawing 600, 700 watts. Oh, and I think it just turned off. This little hot pot just tripped the breaker on the AC 180 so we're gonna move over to um, a wall plug-in and then go from there I'm not sure if these uh, heating elements are bad for the batteries but yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna use that so in with the garlic And give the tofu a cook. So I'm going to turn it up to 600. Put our lid on. All right, that seems to be pretty hot, so I'm going to add in my water. So I got my gochujang, and that's going in next, along with the pepper flakes. Let's see how the stew's coming along. I'm going to grab a spoon of this. I do like mine a little bit spicy, so I'll just kind of measure it out. Two spoons of the pepper flakes that uh, get to a boil and then we'll turn down the heat a little bit and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, our stew has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. You can see the steam rising out of these holes here. That's a nice feature. Um, so let's go ahead and take it off and see what it looks like. Yeah. Ooh, that is nice and hot. And this is on the lower setting as well. So I'm gonna turn it off so it doesn't overcook things. Where's my soup spoon? Mmm. It's piping hot, flavorful, spicy, but not overpowering. And uh, it tastes just right. Let's try it with some kimchi here. Let's check on the tofu here. Still looks quite firm. And that's how I like it. I don't like the kimchi or tofu so overcooked that it becomes mushy. So you do want to cook it, but also don't overdo it. What I would have done differently, or what I should have added, was um, chopped onions and also scallions or green onions on the top at the end. But right now, all I need is a bowl of rice and this would be completely perfect. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that unboxing and watching me cook kimchi stew for you guys. Super simple ingredients. Um, it'll keep you warm in the winter time. Yeah, this Denzin hot pot does it very quickly. It gets hot so fast. Uh, the water gets to a boil extremely fast, and even after it boils and you put it on a low simmer, it still is bubbling. 
the thing I learned about my Blue Eddy is there must be something that this hot pot did to surge and uh, trigger the breaker. <clears throat> so I'll need to find out why that was the case or at what wattage it does that because it's rated to go up to uh, 18,000 watts. I got to read into that. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I may do more cooking videos in the future, but this is just an unboxing of something that I found that might be helpful for me. See y'all next time.